Well, swimming pools, once filled with history, now abandoned in Atlanta's East Point neighborhood. But tonight, one artist is diving into the deep end, uncovering the story of segregation in a new exhibit called Ghost Pools. And Better News First reporter Sawyer Bussy shows us an inside look. The emptiness is the point. The painted concrete, the lone diving board, these are ghost pools, memorials of two public pools in East Point. We've marked out the footprint of the original pool. Historians say the spaces became battlegrounds over integration. There are lost swimming pools all over the place. Um, once you start looking, you see this is a phenomenon that happened nationwide. The Randall Street pool was built for the black community. Although the Spring Avenue pool was desegregated in 1964, the pool was mostly used by the white community. For some people, that these were happy spaces, but it was a time of exclusion and inequality, and you feel it when you see the different sizes of the pools. The white pool is double the size of the Randall Street pool. Both pools eventually closed due to underfunding. Hannah Palmer created both public art installations to talk about the legacy of public swimming pools in East Point and the lack of a public swimming pool now. So I kind of wanted to educate my community on that history so that we can dream big about the future. You see an empty space. Drivers stop to see what's going on. And if you listen closely, you might hear the sound of ghost pools past. You can come see ghost pools for yourself through Labor Day. There are directions on how to get to both locations in this story in our Atlanta News First app. Sawyer Bussey, Atlanta News First.